Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a step-by-step -step eye makeup tutorial. This is very beginner friendly and if you're new, brand new to makeup, you're going to want to watch this video. This is going to be very simple to follow, very easy. Let's get started. I'm going to be using the Morphe and Mani Mua Glam Palette. I'll be using a transition shade, a mid-tone shade, a glittery shade, and my highlighter. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find where your crease is. So this is my crease right where that line is when I open my eyes and I look straight ahead. I have very hooded eyes as you can see and not a lot of my eyelid shows. So if you have hooded eyes like this for your mid-tone shade, you're going to want to put that shadow above your crease so you're able to see it. And if you don't really have deep set eyes like me or really hooded eyes, then it shouldn't really be a problem for you when you place that eyeshadow on your crease. First thing you want to start with is with a really fluffy brush and I'm going to use this mid-size fluffy brush so I can put in my shadow on my crease and blend it out real nicely so you're gonna take your mid-tone shade which should be at least three to two colors darker than your actual skin tone you're gonna put that shadow in your crease and you're gonna blend that out make sure you put the shadow below where you actually want it to go because you're gonna blend it out upwards and so as you blend out it's gonna go exactly when you want that shadow to be you just don't really want harsh lines and that's why we're putting it a little bit lower than what we really want it the best way to blend eyeshadow is going back and forth in circular motions in your eyes this is going to prevent the eyeshadow from being patchy or from making streak marks in your eyelids. You really want to make sure you take your time with this and just blend it out really well to where there's no harsh lines. But if you still have a little bit of harshness to it, don't worry because we're going to go back in with our transition shade and really blend that out. Blending the outer corners of your eyeshadow, you're either going to have a rounded shape or vertical shape kind of like if you were doing a cat eye depending on what kind of style you like you can choose either or if you don't really know how to clean it up with concealer afterwards and you want that vertical shape you can just put tape before you start your eyeshadow and it's just gonna give you that cat eye look when you take the tape off but if you like that rounded look just make sure you round out the edges of your corners I personally go in with the concealer and just clean it up a little bit when I'm done. Next I will be taking this really fluffy brush and I'm going to be holding the brush at the end of the handle. This is going to help with being a little more looser with your wrist and not concentrating the color in one spot. Transition shade is going to be a color closer to your skin tone. So when you blend out the mid-tone shade, it will be very seamless. And again, with the blending techniques, you want to use circular motions and just go back and forth. And you always just want to make sure that you leave a small gap between your eyeshadow and your eyebrows. So no matter how high you put your eyeshadow, just make sure that at least you leave a little bit of space so they're not touching. I'm going to be taking the shimmery shade and placing it in the inner corners of my eyes all the way through just over half of my eyelid and i will be placing it higher so when i open my eyes you are able to see it you can do two techniques so like i'm doing right here and applying it with a flat brush or you could use your finger and apply the eyeshadow i personally find applying shimmery shades with your finger actually works better because the color payoff it's so much nicer and when i plan it with a flat brush you can also spray the brush with sun setting spray so it can intensify the color if you really don't want to use your fingers after you put the eyeshadow down you just want to go over the edges with your fluffy brush and just blend the edges out again with the circular blending motions those are really going to help you blend your eyeshadow for my bottom lashes i took an angle fluffy brush and took the mid-tone shadow 
and applied it at the outer corner of my under eyes coming all the way to halfway into my eyes and blending that shadow out the closest I can get into my lower lash line and after I do that I will also be taking that transition shade and blending the edges of the color out then I took my highlighter color and I put some on my brow bone so I can give it a little bit of shine and also in my inner corners so it can really open up my eyes. Like I was saying earlier, I usually clean up my eyeshadow look after I'm done. So I take a little bit of concealer and a flat brush and I draw a vertical line all the way across and just blend it out with a little beauty blender or with a brush and it creates a very clean look to your eyeshadow when i draw my concealer on like this i just follow my eyelash line all the way up into my temples and last but not least i always put some mascara on on my upper lashes and my bottom lashes and that's the finished look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful to you in some way if you want to keep watching videos like this on my channel please click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every time i post and if you like it please click that thumbs up button it really really helps me and comment down below if this video was helpful to you so i see you in the next time be happy and smile